See, judiciary in India is, I think, problematic in my opinion, because you have a judiciary which appoints its own members, which fixes the terms of services by itself, which also fixes salaries and everything by itself, which cannot be questioned because it's a contempt of court, you know, which and judges are appointed by itself. I mean, where do you see that in the world? I don't see that in America or in any mature democracy. In America, the judges don't appoint judges. Is, is the, you know, they're nominated by the president, if I'm not wrong, and then there's a confirmation hearing in the uh, parliament of America. So uh, I think the judiciary in India is very opaque, it's unrepresentative, and it lacks democratic popular mandate to do the kind of things it is doing. So judiciary wants to do these things, I say, you know, let us have direct elections to the judiciary. Let, let judges be elected by direct election and then they can make laws, you know, I don't mind it. You should have a democratic mandate because if you don't have it, what is happening, you know, the judiciary is exposing itself to the public too much by interfering into these things. So they did something in the reservation rosters last year. They did something with the Jali Kattu, you know, last a few years back. They did something with the Diwali, the ban, the crackers and all those things. Yeah, you are exposing yourself to the public and then you have to, and if you're, if you're getting into the matter of public policy, then you also have to bear the repercussions, you know, there will be backlash against you. And we're seeing that is happening in India. The public, which never spoke against the judiciary a few years back, is now increasingly mocking judiciary, increasingly defying judiciary, increasingly um, abusing judiciary. That is not good for judiciary itself. Because you know, if you are exposing you to yourself too much to the public, then my goodness, one day you have to face the public anger, just like politicians face the public anger. But you are not a politician; you are judges. So judiciary is, you know, on a very dangerous trajectory, in my opinion. And something has to be done because we don't want that kind of an art in this country. Mm -hmm.